Hey there. Fear can't kill me, apparently, but giant sharks can. We learned that last week. We're in the residence. Uh, we have some sort of weird, like, algebra puzzle I need to solve right now. I'm not too excited about it, but... One other thing. So we have the ink ribbon. Let's get rid of that. As I was talking with someone, and they reminded me in the original... how to use the insecticide spray. Because there's a map on the wall. If you remember, there's a map on the wall. And I mistakenly, with my god-awful memory, thought that the plant monster will attack us through it, but it doesn't. It's actually... Where's our map? It's on the other side of the wall where the beehive is. So that's how we get the beehive. So we can start off with a little progress in that regard. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to stare at that fucking acid puzzle for an hour like a moron. Alright, stay cool. This part of this house is pretty safe. I fucking hate those moths. I always think it's a spider or something. Here we are. There's a map of the residence. Take it? Okay. We've done it. You got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. Yep. Shove it in. That solves our little bee problem. I'm not even sure if there's an item there, though. That's just maybe to get rid of the bees, which is a shame because we actually solved that keypad puzzle pretty quickly. But there might be treasure there. Is that what that is? Can you hear that Windows error? That's a huge problem. Um, That's going to just fucking drive me crazy, actually. Okay, we need to fight our fears and survive. Oh, uh, just that bumblebee thing, so we can get that out of the way pretty quick again. I somehow put the game in this weird state where my controller was also navigating Steam, so I was trying to, like, install games and dismiss prompts. That's what that error sound was. Ah, uh, but hopefully it's not going to happen again. Also, I noticed that my gun is empty. Shotgun's in great shape, but... I mean, I think it's in great shape. We gotta, like... We gotta get into trouble, like, 31 times before the shotgun's a crisis. Let's get that bumblebee. Which, it was over the boxes. Looking forward to the chemical puzzle. I am not looking forward to the chemical puzzle. Well, it's it depends on what it is. I think it's just like some weird, like third grader word problem, but I don't know what the actual... We'll worry about it in a second. We're almost there. Hey, well. We got the map of the residence. There's a hole in the wall there. Just shove it in. I really want closure on if there's treasure there. Because, so this chemical puzzle thing we're on right now is we have to... I think we have to combine things until it reaches a set number. But we don't know what that set number is. Because I think it's one of the scientists went crazy and created the plant. So we need to, I think, find a note detailing what he did so we can reverse it. Or I might be full of shit. Might just be a daydream. No bees, at least. We can take our time and 
Did I use this door before? It's locked. This guy got stung too by too many bees. Alright, I had a red herb over here. Oh, the residence key, I bet you that's 003. And then I a red herb is nice, but I don't have a green herb to mix that with on me. But I do have a lot of free space, so we'll grab it. Let's inspect that key to see if it's 003. What I like about the keys in the residence is they're all one-offs. So they're not taking up space like the uh, like the helmet key. Ah. We gotta be careful though. We don't want to go into the plant room. It wouldn't be here. It'd be a larger room, I think. Looks like another um, bedroom with a bathroom in it. There's no further use for this key. Throw it away. Ink ribbon? Yep. An old-fashioned but high-quality bed. Man, it is dark as fuck in here. Streaming in the daytime isn't a particularly good idea. There's some glare. The shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book sandwiched in between them. Take it? Yes. Organic chemistry lab experiment. Here we go. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the Tyron virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells. This is the note we want. We've given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within five seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases if you fuck it up. Wonderful. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. So it looks like we mix it till the color changes. Wait, what is UMB V Jolt is made from VP and UMB in this wait a second. VP UMB. So it looks like I can only mix chemicals in these ratios. So it either has to add up to 3, 6, 7, 10, 17, or V-Jolt. VP and UMB chemicals. This is going to be tricky, mainly because it looks like we just get hurt when we do it wrong. Now, can I put the red book here to move the bookcase, do you think? Yes. Old maps have been tossed into the wastebasket. They look like road map, but they're of no use right now. You don't have a sweet car. A giant plant is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surrounds it. Huh. Your view is blocked by the dense thicket of trees. Is the plant inside the bathroom? Hopefully if we're in trouble, we can just 180. I can't see. I don't know if this is the root. The root of some giant plant are sticking out of the wall. This is weird because... The plant goes down to the basement, but that part fights back. So this is the part we pour the poison on. It's full of dirty water. Pull out the plug? Yes. I can't move while it's draining. Please don't be a monster. There's something in the bathtub. A dagger. For bathing. The shelves are lined with various soaps and cosmetics. They're all umbrella brand products. Company store, man. Okay. Puzzle time. I don't... I'm torn. I don't know what I what's more stressful. A puzzle that's hard to solve or a puzzle that hurts you when you get it wrong. So we grab each jar and then we slowly mix them together, I think. There's something written on the wall. So 1 and 3 is 4. 4 and 6 is 10. 1 and 6 is 7. Dang. 
10 and 7 is 17. So we have two empty jars, and we can slowly pour red and yellow into it. UMB number 3, yellow 6, and then we have water. Oh, I have four. I have four jars of shit. Let's go drop off. I want the ink ribbon and the red herb gone, and we want to come back with the empty book. And then that'll give us free, uh, four free slots for the four jugs. Oh, thank God shit doesn't respawn in here. Or there's like, well, I guess I've been avoiding the zombies on purpose so we don't deal with Crimson Head, so. As long as we stay to the bedrooms that we've cleared them. I mean, I, I kind of like the, the residence. The flow's a little more easy than the mansion. There's a lot of rooms that you can solve immediately and not have to come back to. I don't like that. I don't like the implication of crimson bees. Please don't say that. All right, where's that book? So we can put that one on the bookshelf. should be in this room. Nope, this room. Is there a door at the end of this hallway? Huh. Might be. Actually, that might be where the plant is, because I, I mentioned it last time, but one of the notes implies that the plant is like purposely sealing the door to it, and we're trying to not go in there by accident, because we want to have our grenade launcher and shit. The bindings of the book seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books. Oh, it's a picture. I was about to say, there's no, there's no notes here. Some sort of lady. Some old timey porno. Hello? Oh, fuck. Why would you be behind a bookshelf? I'm, I'm not. I'm not equipped to fight the plant. We skipped the plant puzzle. Let's just eat the death here, I think. Now we know that this is actually... I thought it would be like a room we have to progress through, but it's the... Uh... Hmm. That's a real shame. Oh, hang on. What's this? Huh. It's a one-way door. And I am not poisoned. It hit me once, but not enough to lower my status to a caution. All right. Puzzle world. Here we come. Because we either weaken it considerably, or we have to do this poison in order to fight it. Okay. Will you take the empty bottle? You bet. There's five? Are you? Oh my god. 
No, never mind. I just can't camp. Okay. I will fill one of them with water. One and three is four. Okay, what the fuck is... There's another note here somewhere. I'm forgetting something. UMB number 20, and we need to get it up to 20. Red, and then I guess I don't... X. If I generate... They make gases if I do it wrong, okay. Where the hell is the note that says which one is which? UMB number three. I think I think water's always worth one, so let's do one and three to make four and not get fucking poison. Okay. Oh, perfect. We combine them on this screen. Okay. Yellow is six. So I'm guessing I need to combine them in a single go? Or do you think I mix two steps? So this is six. So this should add up to nine, and then water would make it ten. And then... Huh. There's no note that warns me how it becomes poison. I swore there was. Maybe someone just said in the chat which was which. There we go. Water's one. Red is three. Purple's four. Where's purple? Or is purple water and red? Okay, let's gamble here. All right, now it's purple. All right, orange is 10. Oh, maybe it has to turn into a real chemical, so there's certain numbers we have to avoid. So we have number 10, so we have to turn it into 17, and then we add 3. So if we get it to 17, we'd probably want 6 in water, right? All right, and then we'll make sure on the wall that we can actually make a 7. One and six is seven. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then we should be able to go ten and seven. Yes. Look at us. Baby's first chemistry set. We're doing it. And then we just mix it with three. Which is red three. Here we go. Here we go. No poison for us. Vigilt. And then we pour that in the bathroom that we were just in. And that should weaken the plant considerably. And then we just go get the grenade launcher and uh, give him a little how do you do. You're not a shark that kills me instantly. I can solve your puzzles. I'm a little, I'm a little bummed out at that shark death. Let me just pour this on you. Vigil. It's a distinctively brown liquid. Is that Vigil or did she just get the shits in the middle of the mission?
Now, where the hell do I pour it? I don't want to pour it, like, on it in the fight. It's like, where's the the roots? Okay, so that's the context to action to look at it. It won't let me pour it on it. Maybe I have to use it in the basement. Don't I need the spray pump for that? No, because the spray pump was destroyed when we killed the bees with it. Plant. Yeah, bah, bah, bah. One source is through its root. Somehow it's rooted itself down to the basement. So maybe this isn't actually the root. This is just one of the roots. Like this isn't the uh, original. We might have to go down to the basement and pour it. It's high possibility it's one of the chemicals. However, we... Bah, 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 bah. A bulb-like body has been sighted on the first floor. That's where we are. Okay, I think we have to go down into the shark world. Hey, Justin. I'm actually a little relieved on the uh, poop puzzle. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Mainly because it didn't blow up in my face. Forget how to get downstairs. Oh, right. In one of the bedrooms, there was a ladder. Which one? It's actually right by the map. I went too far. Um, I'm going to drop off these other jars because they serve no purpose now. We'll keep the brown liquid. Okay, and that wasn't too hard to solve, so if we eat a death, uh, we won't waste too much time catching back to where we were. Although I'm sure we'll get like a, an F rank on this playthrough, just from all the saving and the, the slow speed. We've been shooting a lot too, we've been hit a bunch. Pretty much every category you're scored on in Resident Evil we're doing terrible at. But I think we have an S rank and fun to watch. Eh, maybe a B plus. I'd be kind of crazy if I could make my own Dr. Pepper. I have one of those, um, one of those soda stream machines to like carbonate water, and then I bought some like off-brand Dr. Pepper like flavor syrup. It did not taste like Dr. Pepper. I was very disappointed. A scientist, I'm not. It turns out. So we're just going to have to hope that the roots down here don't actually hurt us, because they definitely move around. What was this way? Because this isn't where we want to go. We want to go back to the main room. And then, oh, it's the other way into the guard room. I see now. This floor is smaller than it feels.
I guess there's a lot of verticality, maybe, but. Um, I have a little room to spare. Why not? I think it's just herbs. What is it, my old friend? Just green herbs. Oh, no, it's green and green. Huh. Green and green. I think we can rub some red in there, but that's not very efficient. Probably just rub that in a, I don't know, blue maybe? Okay, here's hoping that I don't get, like, choked out by this thing. Because he looks a little excitable. Got him. Then you just curl up like the Wicked Witch of the West, and uh, we'll search this room for items now. It looks like the control system for the water tank, but it's broken and can't be used. I wonder if I was allowed to just root around in here this whole time, no pun intended, and uh, just not get attacked. Because it looks like I could have. The locker's completely soaked. There's nothing special inside. Alright, so we need the grenade launcher, and then the trick is to shoot the plane when it opens its petals. And it's a shame, because I think... I think Barry helps us fight the plant, but I might have broke that logic by accidentally walking into the boss room. Because I think a lot of people help Jill fight bosses, like that dude helped us fight the snake before. People just love helping Jill. Did I keep the jar? No, jar's gone. Plenty of room for the grenade launcher and the grenades, and then we have those mixed herbs for if the plant uh, gives us a love tag. This floor was a little weird. Very large hallways. Like, that's a very long hallway for nothing in it. I don't think we ever have to go back there now. Maybe I should check the map. I think I grabbed all the items. Yeah, we grabbed everything in the aqua ring. Careful, I've almost navigated my way out. The shirt is soaked in blood. Oh, I don't care about that. And then, yeah, you know, I really don't... I don't feel like saving until we actually beat this plant at the least. Wouldn't want to waste one of our 17 ink ribbons. I wonder if the plane's poisoned enough that it, uh, we can walk over that hole. That'd be nice. Save us one second every time we use this hallway. Totally worth it. Now, if I was going to fight a giant plant, would I want fire? Uh, you know what? I probably want just regular, because we haven't proven our crazy theory that fire rounds on the grenade launcher can actually burn bodies. So probably just regular grenades. The hell is it? No, 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 no. We learned that lesson last time. Don't scroll through the whole thing. Am I fucking blind? I am. It's right there. I 
I got one fizz left. Who calls it fizzberry? Actually, got a lot. Of, I got a fair amount of grenades for this fucking thing. Um, yep, there's a very good chance he'll poison me or something, but we'll wing it. I didn't really get a good look at the thing because I was awaiting my own death, but I think we might have to be up on the second floor to shoot it in its uh, plant face. Let's get our gardener gun out. That's tempting, but no. Here we go. Is it just over? What's going on here? Ah! Barry, help! Thank you, Barry. What the hell is this thing? Should have read the notes, Barry. Barry Fucking shoot it! Kill! Barry! Where did you get that? Why did the police have a flamethrower, Barry? I thought it was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? Why did he have the flamethrower if he didn't know this was going to happen? I just love cooking zombies, Joe. I'm sure. If it is this the helmet key? It is. Who the fuck would drop? Who would drop it in a fireplace? All right, that should be that should give us free reign of the mansion for the most part. We still can't get inside the Spencer bedroom. Barry. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. All right. We should split up again and investigate. Barry, you've done it again. This is a dead end, really. Hmm. Huh. There's a lot of red rooms in this. I should probably load up my storage box. Helmet key we need, so... Well, we can put the grenade launcher away. There's going to be a lot of fucking crimson zombies in there. We've cleared out some of the thoroughfares, but there's going to be a couple tricky dick hallways. Oh, grab that too. Oh, I can't carry more items. Well, fuck me. We will clean this place out, assuming that the story hasn't uh, spawned extra bad guys on me. Which I think it will in the mansion, because we're missing quite a few Resident Evil staples. Hello? Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. 
There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Okay, it's a dead end that way, Wesker. Barry seemed a little flaky. I'll keep an eye on him, and then they do the exact opposite. He goes to yell at Barry, and I go back to the mansion by myself. I think there's still some spooky stuff in the mansion. Better send that petite girl. I guess. Yeah, I guess Albert and Barry wouldn't want to do it. Jill's got shoulder pads. She'll be fucking fine, right? Really wish there was an auto sort in my storage box just because I'm too lazy to sort it myself. Man, if I was Chris, that'd be it. My inventory would be full right now. All right, we're trying to we're trying to fill up the storage box and get rid of these red rooms, aren't we? Tell you what, I'll do. I will actually make this. Now it just looks like fun dip. It doesn't look like mixed herbs at all. That's done. The billiard room has some shit in it, and then the B room has some shit in it still. Oh, I think I maybe left an herb in the B room. Um, I mean, you're not wrong about leaving behind the shotgun ammo, but I want to have a, a an emergency pool just because I'm not sure what's waiting for us back in the mansion. But you are right, once we kind of, once we get our bearings back in the mansion, we can probably hang on to it. Well, there's still treasure. But what and where? I think it was just maybe an ink ribbon behind the bar that I forgot. It's a nice little billiard setup they have. Huh. What the fuck did I miss? Wine bottles, yep. Empty casks. Oh, what's... It looks like there's something there, but it's just a smudge on the dining cloth, I guess. Must be back by the other side of the entrance. Yep, there it is. All right, empty. Just got to get that B hallway empty, and then the guardhouse should be 100% clear. Which isn't too bad, considering it's a survival horror game. Well, I guess we did leave those zombies like locked in the shitter, but that's not my problem. Okay, no, no, it's the next one. Wait, the, the fucking... Okay, no, this has a red herb right by the boss door we never grabbed. I didn't drop off my green herbs, did I? I'm a big dumb.
We have a lot. I mean, the last time I said we're in great shape for healing items, we got fucking punched several times, but we're in great shape for healing items again. We're in great shape in general. We're really on track for an easy playthrough, I think. Minus our playtime. Our playtime's fucking abysmal. Because there was like a good 40 minutes when I thought we didn't have the key to fight the snake, and we did. Oops. And just some of the early puzzles in general. I don't know if I could really beat this game super fast if I needed to, but... Probably get a decent time if you wanted. Because eventually, really, it's just about like memorizing all the items and the puzzles and shit. Then it's not really like the, the horror aspect's gone at that point. Once you're grinding out the uh, the completion rewards. Yeah, I think it's just a red herb by the beehive and a red herb by the boss door. That should be this room empty. Oh, I did grab that one. Okay. Okay, guardhouse is empty. Hey, Snot. We just on our way back to the mansion. Drop this off and then go through uh, the forest I'm not too excited about because I think we walked by quite a bit of shit. And actually, if we didn't walk by it, uh, they're going to be crimson heads. And then there's that weird zombie that bullets don't work on. I hope that's not going to be like a Mr. X thing. They might make another appearance. This is good though. This is a good haul. Now I should save it, but no. We'll, we'll save it back in the mansion. Alright, map. What do we got? Really, there's shit in this hallway I didn't grab. Well, probably because I can't see fuck all. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha Team. Come in. This is Jill. Does anybody hear me? I hear you, Brad. Over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. Doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat. This is Brad. Brad? Brad! This is Brad. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Brad! Brad! Man, there is no fucking way. Broken. There is no fucking way, like a... a not consumer-grade walkie-talkie would have that much trouble contacting Brad. Cheap garbage. That should be this hallway done. This path is really overgrown. We gotta have a serious word with the groundskeeper here, because I think it's not like this place has been zombie world for years. Like, look at this. This is supposed to be all cobblestone, I think.
Yeah, Brad's our helicopter pilot. If we can get in touch with him, we can get the fuck out of here. Hey, 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 I shot you already. Now you little shit. Get the fuck off of me. Jesus Christ, right down to the bone jar. Maybe at least fucking try to get him off. Yeah, you just fucking let one dog take you down to caution. I had the knife on, too. Maybe you can't use knives on dogs. Well, it's a real shame that that dog came back. Oh, right. This is the place where um, some kind of transparent creature is swimming around in the water. It's, I think, yeah, we'll get killed if we put a battery in there. Does this go anywhere? This needs the power on. So I'm guessing there's a power source somewhere in the mansion. We bring that back to the courtyard. And then, ooh, actually, you know what? We don't need blue. Snakes. Where are they following from? Is this fucking 1960s Spider-Man comic? Good lord. So, we need a way to stop the water so that the battery outlet over there isn't electrified. Uh, yeah, we killed the plant, Jess. Well, technically, Barry killed the plant. Barry killed plant 42 for us. I was there. I helped by watching. Not a big fan of dogs responding. These ones are still gone. Ooh. Where'd this come from? Beer, you old so-and-so. Look at this. Grenade. Are these fizz? Fizzies? You know what? I can't tell. These might just be norms. Might just be normies. A am, am I an item box? Is this an item box room? It's not. It's not, and the hallway is not a blast. Oh, fuck. That's, there's a berry note. Use this thing to protect yourself from that bulletproof thing in chains. I went ahead and fixed that piece of crap door, too. Barry. What are you taught? What door? Uh, is there a one-way door somewhere? Piece of crap door. I don't know. I, I want to come back for this stuff, but we're full. There's not an item box nearby. The nearest item box is that cabin in the woods where that bulletproof zombie attacked us. And I'm pretty sure, maybe, maybe not, maybe I cleared this hallway, but I think there's at least one crimson head in this next hallway, which is kind of going to complicate my ability to use the item box. I'd love to use this one. Like, if Barry fixed this door, that would be wonderful. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain in the ass to loot back every time. The quickest way would be to go through the gallery into their graveyard and then go to this, which is a long fucking walk. Let me get my back in the mansion gun out. Actually, why the hell did I not pick up those grenade rounds? I could just be combining herbs. There was two first aid sprays too there, which was nice. Hello? Nah. I don't even want to know what that is. I don't even want to know. Let's put this on, though, since we're a girl alone at night.
this for sure is a helmet door. There's really no reason to be in a rush now because any any zombies, any zombies in play are definitely crimson heads. Um, so yeah, we have no idea how to open this door. Um, we're missing the items to go here. We're missing the yellow gem for the tiger. There's a lot of helmets here, and there might be a helmet. That, this is locked from the other side. That might be a helmet. Key, but there's no power for the elevator, so it doesn't matter. So I think all the action is going to be in the second floor. Oh, that's a helmet key. Third floor, too. Well, 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 if it isn't book, there's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. A portrait of a woman with a sad look in her eyes. Could this be a telescope? It looks to be pretty old. An elaborately fashioned globe. There's some kind of internal organ inside. You can't tell whether it came from a human or an animal. Well, it's because you're a police officer, not a doctor. She was fucking big. Well, 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 if it isn't an ink ribbon, no thank you. Okay, so I think I'm just on the other side of the wall from where I came in, yes. The hell is he talking about the art room? Oh, that's a mirror. I was like, hey, two Jills. I'm saved. Let's just look for treasure first. Um, because this is just a zombie. I don't want to waste any time here. I said I don't want to waste any time, you fuck! Don't touch me there. Nothing gives you that right. Those herbs are tempting. Excuse me, sir. You were stunned. That's actually not too bad. He's dead forever. I'm missing... Oh, Christ. This has chunks in it already. Do I have to reassemble the emblem with these? There's nothing unusual. Don't fucking lie to me. Of course there is. There's a round recession approximately four centimeters in diameter. That must be what I need to loosen all these chunks, and then we use those to complete that. Uh, what is that, an octagon? The UFC shape? All right, hang on to this, kid. Fucking no means no zombie. Jesus Christ. I mean, there's some, there's a green herb, might as well grab that. I think we're missing a room still. Yeah, what is this guy? What's this? It's clearly a door there. I think that's in the hallway with, uh, that's the crimson head that we blocked with the dresser, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're right, Goldberg. Yeah, so we'll have to use some shotgun shots to get him. So, I mean, it sucks that, well, we, we have a lot of herbs, so maybe that was an economical way to fight that guy. We used a stun gun, which downed him. And then we stomped on his head. So we got hurt, but we got the zombie out of the lake. But it was a dead-end zombie, so... Yeah, I gotta go through that dresser. That sucks. Um, tell you what, though, because we got so much. Oh, whoops. Well, that's one way to save bullets. An eerie picture of the mansion. Yes, we've established there's something behind it. Just give it the Shawshank Redemption, poke a hole in it. 
But how do I know to get behind it? Well, that complicates things ever so slightly. There's something behind it, but we don't know how to get through it. And then we don't need to fuck around downstairs anymore. We can go upstairs and start opening helmet key doors. I think the helmet keys are mostly on the west wing there's this guy when i that's the room with the fireplace i think that's a uh helmet door let's hope nobody joined the party in this hallway because this is a big hallway we gotta walk through maybe i slash it with the knife now that's a smart idea oh no you don't get the fuck out of there you gotta get out of there before he opens the door because otherwise he's going to, you know, like, infect this room with his bullshit. And now we want to just go to the end of the hallway again. Uh-oh. Hey, man. Oh, this is going to hurt. For you. Call an ambulance, but not for Jill. I was very lucky that he jumped short. Very lucky that he jumped short. Now, is that a hunter or a licker? I'm a little hazy on my Resident Evil zombies. Careful now. Oh no. So we block the crushing with the statue, I guess. We'll wait. Really? That looks even less safe. Don't do that one. steps in the way. Yeah, I'm not risking that. You might be right, Justin. I think some enemies will one-shot you when you're too low, but I don't think they can one-shot you from full unless you just stand there and uh, like let them chomp on you from 100 to 0. Now I shouldn't get killed. Although I feel I should have ran on the other side of it. There's a switch here. So I did it wrong. I want to squeeze it on the other side and then that lets me... Now here's a problem. Alright, so that statue, I need to block this side with it. But then I don't know what the purpose of the statue is. Can you pull statues? I thought it was just push. You might be right though. Thank god this room's magical. So I think we'll block the... No, oh, no, wait, we can't, because there's a step in the way. I 
can't pull it. Why wouldn't I be allowed to pull this? A picture of mother and child. Upon closer examination, the left hand side looks like someone's face. Okay, you might be right. Um, let's try this. There's something at the end, I couldn't find it here. You, you might be onto something. I might be able to completely break the mechanism if I push this um, statue from one side to the other. I might have to slowly push the statue into the alcove on the left. Actually, you know what? I might die, so let's just do this. Yep, it shoves it all the way, so we gotta get it like all the way up. And then we gotta quickly gotta get it in the alcove. This is a little high pressure, mostly just this part. This, this is the only part that can kill me right now. Camera, don't fuck me too hard. No, you did. This would be a good time to have tank controls. Just gotta hold it down. You gotta, I, I gotta stop trying to course correct when the camera switches on me. Chill, don't get sticky on me now. She did. Oh shit! I didn't have to slide it, I just had to hit the pressure plate. Later, this puzzle. Another. St Some of these self defense items, you're like, oh man, this has got to be a key. It's like, it's a dagger. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it, though. Go down. Or, do I look fucking stupid? There's a pit in this magical monster mansion. I stuck my face in it. You are dead. Where the fuck is this going to send me? This is actually going to send me in that room I just broke, isn't it? Where, where, I guess I have nothing to lose except my life. Eagle of South, Wolf of North. Well, let's rub some green herb on me because I'm not leaving any shit behind. Well, well, well. A medal was hidden inside the book. Medal of Eagle. There's nothing unusual. Oh, fuck you. There's like holes on the back. There's nothing unusual. Found inside the last book, volume one. Is there a special way to use it? I have no idea, Jill. Wait. Nah, you look bigger than two centimeters. This is more like a, yeah, this is more like a half sphere, a dome. Now 
1967, I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde on those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? First, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor, it was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel, and another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave. But deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instance, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything's becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. Some guy I don't know. A name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch. Well, why didn't he... Why didn't he press the button? What a bozo. Ah. Now we gotta wait for him to stop, like, nutting acid out of his ass. I'll just... Eh. You see, I should have known he was there. Thanks a lot, camera. Oh, here we go. There's a map of the mansion basement one. Hell yes, I will take that. Uh, we might be able to get our way back. Oh, yeah, we can just go right here and unlock the door and we're back in the kitchen. Perfect. Not nearly as fucked as I thought we were. Although, giant spiders. Hello? Is that a battery for the courtyard? A uh, Shotgun shells. All... Batteries for my shotgun, in a way. Inside the cardboard box lies the discarded shell of a molting spider. Yeah, fucking a little late. A little late on the foreshadowing there. Fucking baby spiders, no time for you. That was a relatively short adventure, although I guess you'd be really fucked if you had just a pistol there. Actually, I, maybe if you run fast enough, the wall spider doesn't react. There might be a crimson head down here. Where am I? I'm in another hallway. Um. Ah, let's just. I don't want to waste any ammo on this guy. Like. Oh shit, there's two of you. Ah, I fucked up! Well, that was a major waste. But I guess we did find a box of shotgun shells. We can be a little blast happy. There are a number of small objects on the shelf. Looking closer, you notice the seal of Raccoon City on a broken dish. Okay. There's a bunch of herbs here, which I guess we can double back to. Well, these will be crimson heads, but... Ooh, it's been a while since we found handgun ammo. Oh, is this the power for the elevator? It looks like the power supply for the elevator. The main fuse is blown out. Power supply appears to be functioning again, and I didn't fatally electrocute myself. Perfect. That's two crimson heads we'll have to worry about if we come back here, but we did turn on the elevator. Hello? I think there's a crimson head here I ignore. There you are. Who was it that gave me that hot tip, Justin? The Hail Mary headshot? Oh, don't you fucking wake up. I'm in no mood. Uh, the elevator just goes all the way up to the second floor. That's really it.
It's an odd transition. Could have just loaded me right to the second floor. I can reuse the knife if I shoot him in the head. That's pretty dope. I have three knives. Let's give that a go. No, you don't! Oh, shit! Just another head. Well, oh, oh well. Oh well. <laughs> He's dead all the way, too. I guess two knives is enough to kill a zombie. I think if you shoot their head off, they get, like, removed from the game. They never get back up, Justin. Um, this room concerns me a little bit. The knob is broken. It doesn't look like it'll open. Thanks, Barry. Oh, there you are. Oh. Well, there go the knives. Oh, well. Well, well, well. Stuff I don't have room for. There's a lot of stuff I don't have room for. There's a battery for the courtyard. Ah, shit. All right, we're going to take the antidote herbs. Just rub that on. Need that battery for the courtyard. Shelf is full of dust-covered props and a deer trophy. We have some stun gun batteries left. And I mean I can be a I can be way more carefree with the shotgun now that we have like 30 shells. Although I suppose I should I should really switch to the pistol for baby zombies. There is a way out of here. Where's the goddamn door? It's always just very dark, Jesus Christ. Those hunters or lickers might be running around here upstairs, but we have the key. Um, that was the locked door for this one, so we need to go here. We could also go upstairs, so this is a pretty hot spot to have the helmet key. I see a, a ref, do I see a shadow there, or is that just my janky shadow? It's my janky shadow. Um, we'll go upstairs first, or will we? We won't, because I want to open this door. Drop off some stuff first. That's a good idea, because I think I'm near a, a typewriter, aren't I? Uh, downstairs. In this hallway, no less. Getting a lot of these doors sorted out, which I like. Can I help you? There's a switch here. Press it. Yes. Leave me alone, dude. Mail to the Chief of Security. Attention, Chief of Security. July 22nd, 1998. X-Day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimen a sample, including the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Ensure complete disposal of the R. Clay laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instruction. If for some reason you're unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck. Yeah. You need to kill everybody on sight. Don't worry, though. We won't turn on you. Hey there. Well, another dagger. I am not too pleased about this magical ego.
So there's a light inside the deer on the wall. Hmm. Hmm. No, not that. I don't want to climb up on it yet. Well, I push it too far. I played Dino Crisis when I was younger. Dino Crisis was a fun one. There's something up there, but how do I get to it? Did I find a note about a hawk and something else? Is that a thing that happened? Well, let's reflect on this as we walk to the, the item room. I think it's time for a save. That's for the courtyard, and we don't know what the Medal of Eagle is for. Oh, Medal of Eagle! Maybe I use it in that room. Oh, let's save it. Researchers will keepers diary by disposal bonding book. Um, crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something in the dog's collar. Old fucking news. Old news. Put that ink ribbon away. And then there's two first aid sprays and grenades in that gardener's shed the next time we go that way. But there is a hunter farting around in that hallway, so that's going to be a couple shotgun shells to clean it up. I don't think those guys get back up, though. I think it's just regular zombies get back up if we don't cook them. How is there no mechanism down here? Oh, there's a dresser on each side. I gotta stop pressing the button to climb up. It's making a locking noise, but only at certain times. A trophy of a deer. It's not necessary to use this now. Okay, okay, let's hit the switch. A glowing red jewel sits in the eye. Would you like to take it out? Yes. It's attached to something and refuses to budge. That doesn't help me. This is probably the eagle's fault. I think I'll just grab those grenade shells on my way out too. No. See there, I have to be standing right here. Oh. 
attached to something and refuses to budge. So it's... I'm hearing it lock, but for what purpose? I may need to grab it when the hawk's not looking. That's interesting. He is fast. I couldn't get there in time. Maybe Hoxie worse in the light? Yep, that's actually the trick was to run under it. Weird. And then light off so I can actually tell there's a gem. Got it. The yellow gemstone, that's for the tiger statue. Okay. Ah. Yeah, I don't know what the red jewel's purpose would be. The red jewel might go inside the jewelry box. That's all I can think of. Great. Got it. Later, loser. Although those grenades would be nice. Now, where is that tiger statue? I think it's below me? Yep, downstairs and then through the hallway. So that's pretty close. Ah! Get the fuck out of my way. Hey. Okay, gotta go. That's our... That's our item room, so I think we have to clean that out. I was totally on board to teach those guys a lesson, and I think it was three. I think three has jumped in. All right, what the hell do we got here? Is it a machine gun? It is somebody's copy of Hocus Pocus, the hit shareware game. Hmm. This doesn't help me at all. I haven't seen a single computer yet. It's beautifully cut and polished. Is it two centimeters in diameter, though? Yeah, we're going to be losing some bullets here. I wonder if we can use self-defense items on those hunters. I don't think they're lickers because they haven't tried to lick me. Fellas? Tougher than you look, huh? No, you're not. Just, just duck hunt that guy out of the fucking air. Okay, it was just two.
Yeah, I think lickers crawl on the walls and stuff. They don't jump. So I think these are hunters. Still no clue what this is for. Um, so I think our main, well, not our main, our next course of action is the battery in the courtyard because that'll get us down into the basement shit, I think. Unless I can shove my diamond in this. I can. Boop. Place the piece. Oh, this might be a while. Um, this okay, okay. Let's let's do it like a puzzle and not actually just fucking idiot shapes. Okay. Here. You're in my way. Okay, never mind. You're not right. this this is definitely the right one because that's like the bottom of some heraldry and then this goes ugh, not too confident about that maybe this no what the fuck Okay, that's good. That's definitely the middle, right? Okay. Oh, I'm not. Oh, wait, that, that looks right. Yeah, because then, no, don't put the puzzle. Now this guy fits. No, he doesn't. No, wait, uh, yes. Well, well, well. We're in. There was a brooch inside. Looks like a key. It changed into a key. Wow. The emblem key. This might get me into Spencer's room. The key's designed with an emblem. The Spencer family, whose history is as old as Raccoon City. I fucking knew it. And I will keep that key because we use it um, here. This is Spencer's room. It's like this giant fucking mansion that supposedly belongs to Spencer family. Very wealthy and family as old as Raccoon City itself. And his bedroom is this little fucking bathroom-sized hole in the wall over there. Yeah, sure, man. All right. There's a hunter there, but that's definitely the Spencer room, so we got to get in there. The quickest way to the Spencer room is as follows. We want to stay down here and cut through the graveyard.
We were in the guardhouse for so long that I kind of forget how to get around the mansion. He is going to be really close though, and it looks like probably average two shotgun shells on a hunter. Might be able to do something ballsy, like if I knock him down, I might be able to shoot him with the pistol, but maybe not. Oh right, we, we still have to try to slash that painting with our knife. Um, once we get this business with the Spencer family sort of... He's making noises like he's dead, but, you know, let's just give it a little American police. How do you do? He's probably dead. There's no further use for this key. See it. Well, this looks cozy. I can't see shit. It's too dark to see anything. I need my fucking... There's either a light switch or I need the lighter. There we go. Oh. The metal object, that's probably to get into the basement. There's nothing unusual. Oh, there's a fucking engraving on the bag. Full of shit. An object made from alloy. There's an emblem engraving. The contents are still intact. Maybe no one's been in here. A collection of scientific books. Almost all of them are biology related. Stun gun. A collection of scientific books. Almost all of them are biology related. That was a, quite the fucking dead end. I mean, we need that emblem to get into the basement, but Jesus. Just books. This wasn't even his bedroom. This was his study. And, like, I mean, if you own a mansion, that's a small study. Um, I think the third floor will be the final helmet key. And then this is going to put me in the main hall, so we might as well... Uh, we could just put the emblem in the door just to get the item out of inventory, but that might, like, cause something to spawn. I don't think so. I think the main hall is always safe. Which is a very dangerous theory to wildly assume. Ah, so yeah, let's do that. Let's just slot that in. And then I want to get my knife and I want to cut that painting. Really? It's clearly where they would go. Maybe I have to figure out which one's which. Oh, shit. It's made from an alloy. Find it. Maybe I need to melt it down. It's 
Let's go drop it off and grab the knife. Because uh, that item box is near the stairs to the third floor, so it all works out. The mansion feels musical. I don't remember being this musical. Did I miss something in that Spencer study? I did. That sucks. Well, the hallway say We can go back. Thank God we killed those hunters, because this is... This hallway is like my home base. I come here a lot. I don't know what the fuck you do, so you're going away. I think I need crank and battery when we go back to the courtyard. Knife, right. Um, Goldberg made a good point, though. Let's put away the shotgun shells. We are definitely starting to chip away at those. Good thing we had that big reserve when the hunters appeared. Has the game spooked me yet? Um, I've been startled by spiders a couple times, and the sequence with the shark was a little stressful. I don't know if it was scary. I, I've, I've played the PS1 director's cut, so I don't really get blindsided by anything unless it's remake only. Let's, let's slash that planing before we go upstairs to the third floor. I think Resident Evil really only scares me in so far as running out of resources. Because I never I never beat Resident Evil 2 when I was a kid. I ran out of ammo before I could finish the police station. Then I was like, well, I'm dead. Game off. It's more stress than spook. I got all jumbled up. There's a crimson head above the dining hall, so we don't want to do that. We want to take the stairs by the typewriter. Oops. What do we have right now? We have the third floor. We have something in the Spencer study. We have the battery in the courtyard. I get jumbled up? No, this is right. This doesn't feel right. It's not. I went the wrong way.
there's no further use for the helmet key. Perfect. Can't see shit. What do we have up here? Um, the ladder? Oh, because the door's broken. That doesn't seem like a good idea to go down there, but I'm gonna. Ah! Alright, that scared me. Oh, are you fucking serious? I don't have a grenade launcher. Oh, I didn't bring the shotgun shells. Oh, no. I didn't bring any healing items. Fuck you. You little shit. Oh, you fuck me, camera. You fuck me. He shot. He got shot with all those grenades and shotgun shells, but it turns out in the end his weakness was knowledge. Because he cracked his fucking exoskeleton open on a bookshelf. Yeah, not so fucking tough, are you, mister? Not so tough without your car, are you? A collection of books based on a broad range of subjects. Did he poison me? I'm fine. There you go. There's... It's not asked me if I've been spooked yet. That snake spooked the shit out of me. Last book, volume two. Is this another emblem? Medal of Wolf. But where do you go? Is there a special way to use it? Uh, the snake's dead forever, though, and the plant's dead forever, so we're making progress in that regard. And that actually didn't use too many shells in the grand scheme of things. So now this part of the mansion should be sorted, right? Now there's something up here, really. Oh, there's an herb, isn't there? Herbs, plural. Um, I will not combine them. I'll try to get them back to my inbox. Okay. What an odd encounter. He seemed way easier here than in the attic. The knob's broken. It doesn't look like it'll open. If the knob's broken on both ends, I think you just kick it open, Jill. Man, there's a lot of shit I missed. This was probably herbs. This was maybe herbs.
Okay. So what else do we have? We have battery. We've opened every helmet key door. So it's just whatever we forgot in Spencer's room, and that's pretty much the mansion taken care of for now, I think. We have those two circular emblems. What would they be for? Hey, Will, you missed a bit. I'd say you missed about two hours of Resident Evil. Yeah, where the fuck do these go? These must be for the courtyard or something. Which is a problem because there's not a box in the courtyards for uh, juggling items. Okay, go slash the painting, right, slash the painting. I'm bringing the shotgun shells. I've instantly changed my opinion on leaving the shotgun shells behind after that snake fight. Um, they just cut through all this shit to get to that painting. Okay, this guy's dead forever because I'm a crack shot. Let's get slicing. All right, that plane fell apart instantly. Why would... The journal admits that there's something back there. The map admits that there's something back there. There's not really any items I want to waste on it, like a grenade... That's risky if there's nothing there. Hmm. Alright, so all that's left is the Spencer office, which is it quicker to... No, it's quicker to cut through the uh, graveyard. If you know what it is. Maybe lighter. Lighter would be my last guess. Just burn the painting. Hello? Daddy's little helper. Shotgun shells. That's that. There's an item in this hallway? Really? 
it really sucks that this door's broken because that's where the stuff is in the the shed. Goldberg, you're talking about where I dropped him from above. So when I dropped him from above, it was here. So this was the secret room that he was in. But then for some reason, he was also referencing this room because there's the hole in the wall. There is just no quick way back down. That I really fucking don't like that one-way door. Unless that's, uh, you know, maybe the map's just wrong. Maybe that's the door Barry fixed and the map's just fucking lying to me right now. Because that would make sense, because this is the other safe room where Barry left me treasure. Okay, what am I dropping off? Uh, not the knife. The knife was a dud. Swap it for the lighter. The fuel canteen, just in case we need that to burn the painting. And then if that doesn't do it, question mark. We'll go to the gardener shed and start scooping up items from the courtyard. Um, the doorknob has been repaired. Barry, you fucking hero. Um... Yeah, the courtyard's the next place to go because we got the battery. We just got to figure out how to put it in with electrocuting ourselves because I have a feeling we will if um, we just shove that battery in because the room's filled with water. The circuit looked very exposed. Very dangerous. Because, you know, usually elevators aren't powered by fucking car batteries sticking out of a wall. No paneling. Yeah, if I can't burn this painting, I have no idea how to get in there, so hopefully it's not super important. An eerie picture of the mansion. Where was that note? Mansion 1? Trevor's Diary? No. Crumpled Memo? No. Can it's film? Oh, we need a video player to see why this guy was carrying around a VHS cassette. Um, where the fuck was the other note? No, I... Where in the world was it? It was like Trevor's... It's Trevor's other diary. Why do I only have the one issue of Trevor's diary? Or are they connected? They are. It's been merged into one giant diary. Oh, 
But was it Trevor's diary? No, Tre Trevor's diary was just in the hole. Right? Where is the thing they were talking about? It was like a, a painting. Oh, shit. Lost a note that references this secret room. Oh, you put the lighter away. That was a dud. That was a dud idea. I shouldn't have come to this save room. Since we're going back to the residence anyways, that's the better save room. I think I need the crank because the crank wasn't destroyed. And then we need the battery. And with the shotgun shells, I think that's my whole inventory. No, no, there'd be still two more slots. Oh, but no, we need to drag the uh, shotgun shells, not shotgun shells, there's grenade rounds and first aid sprays and that gardener shit I want to bring home. Graveyard's the quickest way back. That's all there was to the note. Yeah, that doesn't really help. Not even Sir Spencer Penguin Mansion. I don't think I have any like leftover items that would activate that painting in some way. Because the Spencer key was destroyed immediately. Am I missing my turn? No, it's this door. Okay. Okay. Battery for sure needs to tag along, but does it though? Not while we're shuttling items around. How would I get to a painting? 
anything stand out here? The Derringer? No. Yeah, I don't I don't seem to have any items that would move that painting. Unless I just have to like walk into it, push it. Let's grab all the shit from that shed. Two first aid sprays, that's pretty good. We've only had to use one first aid spray so far. I want to say it does a lot of damage, Justin. Like, I would have preferred to use it on the snake, but I didn't have it on me. Which is funny, because a Derringer would not do a lot of damage, but I think for whatever reason, it does. Do I pick this back up? What the hell? Huh. I can take it right back out. More fizz shells. And then, you know what? On the assumption it's not going to break this door, I'm going to take this emblem back, too. Yeah, the downstairs door did need two. It's just weird that it won't let me place one at a time. It's locked. The Defile of the Accursed Coffin, so it definitely needs to be this one. There's nothing unusual. Maybe the basement's like the end game, and then when I'm done with the guardhouse, then I like shatter this stone part and. Very strange. So that's why this hallway is just red forever, because that's an item. Um, so what's left? Yeah, battery. Batteries are next uh, adventure. So we want the crank and the battery here, don't we? That I wish I could stack things. Well, I guess, well, maybe in your, your item box. Not in your inventory, but stacking things in your item box would make life a lot easier. All right, I want the crank and the battery. And then, I mean, I could bring a healing item, but I'm dumb and I won't. Maybe I should have saved it, though, because I'm worried I'll be fatally electrocuted. Think we're done the forest? I don't think we ever have to go back to the forest. And then this one, there's no elevator, so you'll. You know what? I, I'm pretty sure in the original game, you can fall off that and die instantly. I don't want to test that theory on the remake. 
might just have some collision I won't fall in. I don't know how to use the crank though, because I need to get across first. This is a pretty bonehead play on my part, because if I get fatally electrocuted, we're going to lose a lot of time here. And I'm saying it out loud, and I'm just continuing to walk towards. Do you fucking mind, fellas? Still no closure on where those snakes come from. They're just outside. I really should just save it. I can go into the... I'm pretty sure that's the residence, and I can just save in the residence. Right? Does that sound right, my brain? Sounds right to me. So now at least if I fry myself, we're right outside. Such a weird little path. Presumably you'd have to walk down this to get to work if you lived in the residence. Okay, I guess that wasn't dangerous at all. So now we have the other elevator, we can crank the water, and then we can walk behind that waterfall to get whatever the fuck's there. And that means we can also uh, not have to go snake way anymore. Excuse me? It's absolutely necessary to use the crank right now. Thank you. That was too far away. The sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. Exactly what I wanted. Ah, I forgot to put the ink ribbons away. It's a wasted slot.
Some kind of transparent creature swimming around in the water. I still can't grab it, huh? Okay. This looks safe. Let's check it out. Another rusty ladder. I'm sure we'll be fine. A cave. That was in that dude's diary. This is hardly a save room. This is hardly a save room. It's just a typewriter in a cave. Give me the ribbons. We can't. There we go. Now I'll save it. Our 13th save. I think you probably want to get like under 10 for a good ranking. Maybe under 5. Maybe no saves for the best ranking. I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass. We have 32 ink ribbons now. There's a hexagonal hole here. Like for a crank? No, I think what's my crank is square shaped. The end is shaped like a square. That's just not up to building regulations if you have different crank shapes. That's just anarchy. What else do we have here? Indiana Jones boulder? A large boulder blocks the way. There are blood stains underneath the boulder. Yeah, fuck, I piece that one together, don't worry. Is that an elevator to go even deeper? Good God. A huge gaping hole. Wonder what it was dug for. Holding handgun bullets, that's what. What's all this shit? The elevator's power source. There's a round lid. Open it? Okay. Ah, uh, yes. The source of all elevators, the shaft. Looks pretty puzzle-ish. Guessing I have to combine it with something else. It appears to be some sort of a key to start the power supply. Symbols are carved in its side. Mm -hmm. Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? <sighs> the stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. Enrico! <laughs> Who could that have been? Oh, if it isn't, a crank. Whoever did this is definitely professional. I don't care. I want the crank. There we go. He's holding something. The end is shaped like a hexagon. Perfect. He was just here hanging out with the stepladder. I'll climb out of the cave. All right, well, see you, Enrico. Hey, man. Get the fuck out of my way.
Hopefully he doesn't jump through that. Hello? Yeah, because I want handgun bullets at this point in the game. But we got some. I think I would be in very big trouble on normal, just based on how quickly I've been going through my shotgun shells. I guess maybe with less backtracking in the mage, I could have avoided a lot of those early game crimson heads. I just want to use that crank. Because then I could put both cranks away. I don't think I should. I should probably keep the hexagon hack for the cave. Definitely how caves work and perfect. I haven't used the Magnum either. Uh, but I don't think Chris gets the Magnum. Or he finds it way later? Or he doesn't get the grenade launch. I think Chris gets different weapons. I think he also doesn't get the assault shotgun as early. Like, things really go Jill's way. I'll tell you this right now, I know for a fact, because I got stuck here on the PS1 version, is at some point that boulder tries to crush us and it's instant game over. So we're going to be saving quite a bit down here in the cave. I remember that part about Resident Evil, that fucking cave boulder. I want a green herb now. We gotta we gotta keep some slots open because this is like that's a safe room. We can keep those herbs in there. There's a green and a blue there. Gotta save room for puzzle pieces. Oh, I might be able to put the broken shotgun there. Uh oh, there it is. Sweet roll. Did I fuck myself, though? Oh, did I actually crash through the wall? And then I think now we can circle back to... Oh, no, wait, there's multiple boulders, maybe. Some shotgun shells. Hello? Kind of blowing through them now, just because I'm trying to stagger the... Uh, Huh, that's like, it looks like a, a weighted switch, but I don't have the option to put anything on it. Huh, who likes spiders? Not me, I don't have my grenade launcher. Well, the save room's right here, so we can grab that grenade launcher. Um, he is filled with poison or something, so I think we just want regular grenades. I don't even know what we'd want to use the acid rounds on, honestly. Just in case he gives us some lip, we'll bring the extra grenades, which are lost in limbo. Hello? There they are.
Right, you little Spider-Man piece of shit. Um, I don't have any healing items on me, but that save room is right there as long as we live. There is a blue herb too, so... Fuck you! He got me pretty good there. Oh, there's your friends to help. That's not what I like to see. Oh! Right in the bum, huh? Do yourself a favor and stay dead. There you go. Who are you fucks guarding over here? That door I think I might need to cut or burn. Hey now. This is a problem if they're gonna keep coming. A huge spider web blocks the door, does it though? It can't be infinite spiders, that'd be terrifying. What do we got here? Acid for... So fire for zombies, acid for everything else? Okay, okay. That makes sense. We... we he, he put us in caution, but that could have gone a lot worse, honestly. I'm still a little concerned there's one more rock puzzle. Because I think there's another boulder we have to get on the other side of. I don't think that boulder we just dodged was the one we saw earlier with the blood stains under it. We are in. Another one of these. There's a map of the courtyard basement one, yes. If I was an instant death boulder, that's where I'd live, right here, because there's the, the run I've got to make. I'll just eat this one green, that'll get us up to fine. Got my knife for when I'm in trouble. Good thinking, Jill. Equip shotgun. This is going to be really tricky if I fuck up the control, so we want to go left and then quickly left again. Actually, it might be if I'm unlucky. Yep, there's the rock, so we got to make sure... We have to make sure we rotate it so that the boulder falls in. Christ, I forget how I did this. This is the one I got game over on. Because it looks like we can just go... Oh, wait, 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 perfect. No, 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 we want to rotate it, I think. I turn left right away, so we got to keep cranking it. Nice. 
Not ideal, I think, but we're alive. Oh, there goes some cave music. Where are we now? Just had to get Spooky's xylophone. Oh, fuck that. I don't like this place. As long as it doesn't roll backwards towards us. And then, oof. A single first aid box. Oh, it was a first aid spray this time. Um, yeah, we gotta do something in that puzzle room, but what? And then, based on how much of the cave we've explored here, this needs to be the other part of the elevator shaft. Hole in the wall there. What do we got here? The goddess statue smiles silently back at you. A crank? Okay, I think I push you onto this and then... Rotate it with the crank, maybe? Uh oh. That's not too bad. That uh, didn't do anything, Jill. Well, I mean, it did something. I just don't know what. Alright, that puts it back. Weird. Oh, I see. I see what we do. We shove the statue all the way there, and then we use that indentation to uh, push away from the wall so we can push it. And then we spin it on the middle, and then we put in that indentation in the back. Okay. As long as it's not statues spitting gas like the other time, I'm fine with that. right gotta spin you one more time though I think take the fucking around and spin I think I didn't push you off enough maybe Not a good time for the camera to be jerking around so much. Careful, don't push into the wall, you'll fuck yourself. Okay, here we go. Think I maybe overshot it? No, I think we got it. Well, 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 if it isn't some duct tape. It's the other part of the shaft. Aw, oh, fuck. Oh, no. I'm really sorry about this first aid spray. If I was smart, I would just go back and drop off the knife, but too late. Symbols are carved in the side. Will you turn it? Yes. Holy shit, I gotta keep doing it. Almost. Perfect. Is it missing another thing? Maybe, I don't know. Looks fine. Does suck we had to use the first aid spray there.
This is some herb. That's the spider room. There's treasure in the spider room? I would not want to live in a house like this. What the fuck? Another knife. Now I have two knives I have to deposit. I don't think we use the crank anymore, but we do need the elevator shaft key. Um, we haven't... You know what? No. The, the... Since we beat the boulder instant kill condition in one go, let's save it. Like I said, we're not going to be getting a good rating on our saves one way or the other. I think we're only at 10 or 11 saves when we started, so... I think we average about 5 saves per stream now that I think about it. It's almost time to wrap up, but I think our next stream will be able to finish it. I don't think there's that much Resident Evil left here. Yeah, I didn't kill that guy, I just shot him so he could stagger and run by. How do people speed run this in 30 minutes? There, there might be some weird skips. A lot of speed runs confuse me. Sometimes it's fun to watch a speed run, but I don't think I could ever get into that. A series of flashing buttons. Press one. Well, one of them must work the elevator, sure. Ah, oh, shit. Well, fuck, what buttons do I press? Uh, we've been everywhere. There's a note somewhere. I don't know what it is. Oh, yep. There, the number's on the shaft. Excellent point. Excellent observation, Justin. Goes four, two, three, one, which apparently I don't need to uh, rotate to make it work, I guess, because it's just the smooth circular part. Uh, while I was talking, I forgot what they were. Four, two, three, one. Looks like the power's been restored. There we go. That's the New Game Plus costume room? Oh, okay. That's no problem in that we missed it. Alright, down we go. There's an elevator switch. Jill. Barry? Thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here. I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. Okay. That sound. It's a zombie, Barry. Jill, go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. What the fuck is wrong with you? Escape route in case something happens. Okay. 
Sounded like a monster. Go ahead and check it out, little girl. Excuse me, Barry? Magnum P.I. here is going to stay and guard the elevator? Let's try to be a little frugal with our ammo. A garbage compactor. There's a switch for garbage. All right, well, my money's on. A monster's going to attack me, and I have to make it fall in there. Can I climb down there? Yep, that's the trick. It's a pretty nice door. I mean, it's no Dwarf Fortress door. Hello? Oh, it's you. Do I have to make you go into the garbage compactor, young lady? Come on. Come here, little shit. I don't even know if you can run. Barry, you dumb, dirty dick. Good luck, Jill. Well, how am I going to get you in the fucking trash compactor? Get over here. Come into the room. Well, that complicates things. She's right next to the door. Um, let's unequip our stun guns, because I don't think we can ever kill her. doing here courtyard b2 so it looks like a loop with two doors so i just go the way she isn't which is that way later gator she's also very slow so there's some kind of lever here okay Device for transporting materials. Start it up, you betcha. Off you go, little box. I'm not sure what that accomplished. Hey there. Well, it went off on an adventure somewhere. Probably the other door. Then I need the I need that box to solve whatever puzzles over there, but how am I gonna get the box off the elevator then? Was that hooks for the broken shotgun? I don't think it's the broken shotgun. I think there's something else you have to hang in the cave. 
Oh, hey there. Not that way. Oops, whoops. This door is locked. Some kind of mechanical lock. The hook is stuck inside the hole. I mean, it might work with the broken shotgun. Good thing we still have it, although I I don't think the broken shotgun will work just by virtue of we fucked up the puzzle last time. We were supposed to use the broken shotgun. But I mean, there is an item box. Maybe they just want you to use a regular shotgun, because I think Chris would have the big boy shotgun by now. Do, 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 do. do I have room for it? I sure do, because we consume the elevator shaft. We have those two medallions that don't do anything still. Take both shotguns. One of them's got to work. It's my first time playing the remake, actually. Um, so we just gotta dodge her, hit the switch. Where are you? Probably. Oh, nope. Ah, that's the switch. This is actually, like, it's stressful in the sense that I'm not sure what the solution is, but there's not really tension in the combat because she is a fucking slowpoke. Which is good, it would be super obnoxious if she was like a crimson head chasing me while I try to do this shit. Oh fucking Christ. Got turned around. Time to get greedy. And there's the payment. No, not equip it. You, you know damn well what I want you to do with this. Well, shit. Put me in caution for nothing. There's still something in that room. What the hell did I miss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hook's closed. I know. is here that I didn't see. Oh, hello. If it isn't, a lot of ammo. Hang on here. I think it's a flamethrower. I think we find Barry's flamethrower, and that's what we used for the pressure weight things here in the cave. All right, so now this room should have nothing in it, which is true. So I just I have to go. I have to go back. I have to go back to the garbage compactor. Maybe the box is there actually, and if I crush the box with the garbage compactor, the uh, the flamethrower is in it.
Whoops. these guns away and the magnum rounds because we haven't had to use it the magnum once so I think we're up to 18 shots for how rare it is I hope it one shots everything that isn't a boss Yeah, I guess they weren't in the mood to have a lure the boss into the kill box. That was a Resident Evil 5 thing, actually. Which was actually quite difficult, that boss. There it is. It is a flamethrower. The broken flamethrower, so it doesn't matter. We can definitely use it for, for the weighted doors. I don't think you can uh, shimmy your way out of here. Definitely use that red green there. Hurry now. There we go. The door is unlocked. Okay, well, this is... Someone's having a party in here. The fire's died out, but it shows signs of use. Sorry, let me just get my uh, police investigating tool. A huge collection of various kinds of dolls. They're all faded and worn. Definitely everything's on the level in here. The desk is cluttered with old beat-up dolls and used candles. Oh, that is deep. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the water snakes. Are they still coming? This looks like a family photo. The mother and daughter seem to be pretty close. Oh, another jewelry box. Fuck. That means we're going to have to find another jewel. Oh, wait. You got the stone ring, and then we put that around the other emblem, and then now we can get into the basement. Okay. Family picture notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenitor virus administered. Jessica, administered virus type A. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Lisa, type B. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Microfusion, uh, virus fusion positive, but delayed fusion. Body modification observed, constant results. Status, continue protective observation. George, dead. That was the guy from the diary. There's a journal left by someone. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. 
but she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. From inside box, send of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, I'll be on my way. A couple of weathered old barrels containing what looks like water. Green herb there that I have room for. Let's drag that home. Yeah, there was a lot of shit written on that picture. Some tattered 30-year-old photo. Oh, there's some writing here. It looks like a war and peace, more or less. Very tiny writing. Hello? Oh, shit. It's the sex cabin. Alright, so if I'm right, we can combine that with the alloy thing. Well, well, well. All right, let's... Um, it, it is almost time to stop, but I would very much like to get back to the mansion. Oh, sounds like some fucking goons in my way. I'm walking in circles here. Oops. Wait a second. Where the hell am I? I am really getting fucking tricked here. Wow. No, thank you. Yeah, I have, I have a very good feeling we'll be able to beat this next time. Because I think all that's left is the mansion basement. Where'd you come from, mister? Oh, fuck you, that was in range. Don't you touch me. Fucking handsy zombies. I'm single by choice, thank you very much. Jill Valentine's serious about her career. We just got to get back to. We don't need this anymore because that's for getting into the basement. Yoink. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming out to watch. I just got to get to a typewriter so we can wrap it up. And then next time, I'm pretty confident the end of Resident Evil. Fun game, obviously. I mean, I hear, I hear the franchise is doing okay for itself these days. I hear they've made a couple more. But yeah, I played the original years ago and the, it is a good remake. I'm not over the moon about the Crimson Heads, but other than that, they didn't really screw anything up. There, we made it a typewriter. I wasn't sure if Barry was going to fucking blackjack me as soon as I came out of there. So let's save and call it a night.
Oops. Our 16th save. We can probably beat it in under 20 saves, I think. Whatever milestone that is. Well, see you next time.